Hey guys, welcome to another item make production. My name is Tech009, and today we're going to show you how to replace the ITB assembly on a Canon IR van C5030 through C5051. I will include a link on the bottom of the description below where you can purchase this part. You might have to change this part if you are getting any of the following problems or error codes. Sometimes you just need to push the connectors in place properly. All right, guys, like always, don't forget before we do any technical work on any machine, you turn it off and also cut the power from the back. All right, guys, first thing we're going to do is we're going to begin by opening the front cover. All right, guys, now we're going to remove the ITB cover. All you have to do is loosen up two screws and then slide to the right. Now you're going to remove the two connectors for the ITB belt. Guys, make sure you apply pressure on both connector tabs or you will damage them. You do not need to run the cable like I did in the video since the cable comes out with the ITB assembly. Turn the ITB pressure release lever in the right direction. Make sure that the tab on the grip aligns with the triangle mark on the plate to release the pressure. Now let's remove the two screws holding the ITB belt assembly in place. Guys, make sure you keep an eye out on where the belt assembly will slide off the rail this is very important, you do not want to damage the belt film. Another quick note guys, before pulling out the IBT belt, check that the arrow of the ITB sub pressure release lever is aligned with the triangle mark. If it is not aligned, adjust the arrow of the lever to the triangle mark, just the way I have it in the video. All right, now pull the ITB unit up to the stop label position flatly. There's a metal handle on the left side of the belt then a plastic one on the right side slide the belt evenly do not turn or lift at an angle all right guys when installing the itb unit align the itb unit with the two positions at the lead edge of the rail the left hand side rail is a little difficult than the right side once everything is lined up push the itb unit all the way in Now carefully insert the connectors back in position. Make sure you check them properly so you won't get any errors. Put the harness back into the harness holder. Then turn the ITB pressure release lever to the left. Now insert the two screws that hold the belt unit in place. Now let's install the ITB cover. Now let's tighten up the two screws holding the ITB cover. Finally, you want to close the front cover. And in my situation, I had opened the right side cover to see if I could get a uh, better light. So I'm gonna close this too. All right, guys, we're done. All right, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, tell your friends, your neighbors, your pet, give us a call or visit us on our website.